Hey everyone, my name is Max, and today I wanted to show you a build I made using the 1.17 blocks in the newest snapshot. So this is a tiny house that I made, I, I landscaped it, and I just wanted to see what you can do and what you can kind of create with the new blocks. So looking around here, there's some points of interest, pop this out. I used a lot of these lightning rods and candles as uh, details on the roof, which I think turns out well. I, I'm really excited to see uh, where people choose, you know, where people go with these these uh, lightning rods. I One thing to note is that I alternated between them being face up and face down to create that level of interest and really differentiate. Um, this has this little bump here, and you can see that that looks different than this. And, and I think that's another cool way to just add subtle, subtle, subtle details. I have a nice chimney here with a, a nice roof. I've been doing a lot of these trapdoor um, style windows uh, with, you know, this is even. This is an even window, and you can see the, the window up here. Um, you know, these, these aren't as intense as full block windows, but I feel like the dark oak really adds that contrast to um, uh, the rest of the build. Yeah, so adding adding the dark oak windows around really added a contrast and, and made it pop. I felt like if I used something like this within the entire build, these, these windows wouldn't be as prominent and as exciting within the actual build itself. Um, I used these, the deep slate and these darker tones uh, for a base. Um, I felt that having a strong foundation on this build would look good, especially in a kind of medieval fantasy style, which is what this build is. Um, so using those dark blocks, uh, you know, it makes it seem sturdy and more, more grounded to a traditional build. Um, as for the roof line, I, I used um, a, a, an outline of dark prismarine, and I felt like the dark prismarine was a great mixture between these these blue tones and these oranges however it, it still has a contrast and it still uh looks different and you can still visually see the differences between those those two um you know those two colors and i i, I think it works really well um you know i i have three roof designs going on at, at kind of the same time i have this kind of art i don't know barnyard type roof with another one um, which is a little taller a little thinner um, this this one's too wide. This one is three wide. So this one's even, uh, odd. This one's even. Um, and using those uh, roofs and combining them at a, at a weird angle can create some some interest within the build. I have some spikes here just just for decoration, just for some interest. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out really well. I have this flower pot. I I've also used some of these hanging roots on the inside. I I did do the inside. Um, you know, just just for some interest, I I, I think the rooted uh, root blocks really ha uh, are cool, and they add some something exciting. I used um, some dark oak fences here to hold up the roof and and have a little plant here using one of the new lightning rods. I felt like this was an exciting little um, detail for for a corner that really didn't have much. And I I already used a flower pot on on this side, so I felt like I couldn't really do another flower pot. I, I wanted to change it up. Um, I have a chimney here, um, kind of wonky using the stairs to, to push it out a block, really emphasizing that depth, um, in a different way and in a special way. Um, and it's, it's a curvy kind of whimsical chimney that not a lot of my builds ha have, but I felt like, um, this build, especially with these more magical, mystical colors, uh, I felt like was cool. I ha I started doing these trapdoor windows. I've been doing these trapdoor windows and I feel like they turned out really well, um, having some interesting shapes compared to a, a traditional uh, normal window. Right here, I, I felt like there needed to be some interest, so I added some crane with, uh, ha added a crane with some uh, wheat blocks, kind of creating some sort of interest in something exciting within um, this build, uh, including a back step into this kind of area. I used the chain block and the grindstone to create the the look of a crane. Um, this is a very common design for a crane, and, and I think it turned out well. Um, using a, a stone brick to have that central point that the chain comes out of. So it looks like there's some sort of movement or, or action associated with this. So moving along, there is a doorbell. However, it kind of messes with the door. Um, it's a little tight in here, but I really like making my interiors tight and, and, and quaint because I, I think it really just pushes your build to the next level and creating these awkward spaces really help uh create something special so 
uh, in here. Got a kitchen, got a refrigerator, a, a cake with a, with a candle up top. Got some storage in here. Using the candles very much throughout this build. A lot of paintings. Um, some kitchen storage for storing some things. Got the furnace with a campfire underneath to have that idea that it's constantly running and that it's cooking something. I have a dropper here, you know, for some extra storage in here. A sink, cauldron, and uh, an interesting roof design. I, I use the hanging roots to create some some sort of interest within the um, thing. I, I think it makes it look a little older and, and a little more natural. Moving on here, this leads out the back to the, the crane and just a nice little kind of room separating uh, the kitchen from, from this area. Moving upstairs, it's a little cramped, but in here is a map of the surrounding area. Not much because uh, it's a flat world, but you can see I, I used a lot of the trap doors to, to box this place in and, ha and have that wooden feel on the inside because it, it would normally be all these blocks for the roof. I have the, a big painting in here just to add some, some interest and, of course, had the roots. Now, this is the main bedroom. Um, kind of set everything up with a, a lodestone and, you know, a big storage area. I, I use a storage minecart because, once again, it adds that interest, adds that depth um, and something exciting. I got this bed area uh, looking good. Um, with a nice painting behind. I use some fe uh, signs here to create, to box these beds in a little bit more and, and differentiate the bed from the rest of the room. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool techniques here. Uh, I'm super happy with this build. I, I think it turned out really well. Um, the colors uh, are definitely unique and, and not colors that are commonly used within this game. Um, I've spent a lot of time building within this, this blue um, color scheme, and I find it incredibly challenging to work with but incredibly rewarding so uh this is the build that i i've done and i'm super proud of it so this is the landscaping palette um a lot of greens i use these azalea bushes not only as ground blocks but actually as blocks in the surface to use uh which is kind of exciting i use these dripstone blocks editor max here just hopping in real quick letting you know these are called drip leaf blocks not dripstone blocks come on buddy you were doing so well are not full blocks, which adds interest. I have the moss and the moss carpet, the ferns, and a little bit for a, uh, some contrast, I used uh, some wheat. Now, I use, I use the wheat because I, I feel like in these brownish blocks, um, that yellow color is a little present. It adds that contrast and that focal point um, to the landscape, and it doesn't totally blend into the green um, surface of this flat world. For the base of the build, I used a lot of these dark new deep slate blocks. Um, including some basalt. I used a lot of tough uh, in this build. I, I think that the gray scales uh, coming up on the new update is gonna be really, really exciting. For the roof of the build, I used a lot of these orange blocks. Um, I used copper, mainly within this range. I, I scattered some of these in just to add a little bit of change and, and depth um, to the build, including using this rooted dirt uh, texture and this granite texture, which I think looks really good with the copper, especially when it's next to this uh, exposed copper. I think this is a really nice palette, and, and I'm excited to see where, where uh, people go with this. As for the main structure of the build, I used a lot of these blues. I felt like the prismarine um, bricks were a little too blue and, and did not include them in the build, but however, I went for the um, oxidized copper and the weathered copper, which have those nice gre greenish, bluish, cyan, maybe, tints of color to it. And I felt like a prismarine, uh, normal prismarine, warped, stripped warp stems, um, some cyan uh, concrete powder, and some warped uh, wart blocks would really do um, something nice and create a really nice palette. When I was building it, I felt like I needed a strong contrast color. And with a lot of my builds, I feel like a, a wood um, color is really necessary. So I felt that a dark oak wood would add that contrast and really pop within a build of this this size. So I used a lot of dark oak, um, dark oak trap doors, dark oak fences, fence gates, um, you know, the classic wood colors uh, for this build. I also felt like the roof needed a little differentiator from the blues here and from this. And I felt that uh, I wanted to do something that was contrasty, but not too much. So I, I felt like dark prismarine. Um, was going to be the best option. For windows, I chose a combination of white stained glass and light gray stained glass. I feel like this is a nice color palette. The, the colors are together, and you can also see the windows. However, they don't pop as much as, as a, maybe a colored pane, like, like an orange or a blue. I felt a, the blue tones were 
matched too well and you couldn't really see the windows. I felt that the um, an orange tone is too contrasty for a window and you know a gray or black was was just a little too intense and too dark for for this kind of whimsical looking build anyway my name is max uh the link to this build will be in the description thanks for tuning in i'll see you later take care bye